Hey guys, how's it going? Brian from Brian Boas here. Today I want to share with you one of the rarest locality boas in my collection. It's called the Corn Island Boa. This type of boa has a number of unique characteristics that set it apart from other locality boas. So today I want to go over these unique characteristics of this locality of boa. I want to cover also the captive husbandry of these animals and I'm going to show you a couple of beautiful examples from my collection. If you like this video and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the Brian Boas YouTube channel for more videos on keeping and breeding boas in captivity. One of the defining characteristics of the Corn Island Boa is its small size. The adults uh, reach about four feet or so. This is a mature female. She's about four feet and she bred for me last year for the first time. Uh, she was actually under four feet at the time. And I believe these to be the smallest adult females, that, so certainly that have bred for me. My Tarahumara females have bred at about the same length. But overall, the girth of the Corn Island Boa is quite a bit slender and more elongated than the Tarahumara, which tends to be a more stocky in body build. So the overall mass of these animals when they're adults in breeding is the smallest that I've seen. So besides the small size, they have this very unique coloration. The dorsal surface is this greenish tan, almost an olive brown in color. Um, and then the sides also have that greenish tint with a lot of um, pink and reddish orange scales. And then the belly itself is, has a lot of red and orange in it. It's truly a unique color scheme in the locality boas. About the closest that I've seen is in the Honduran Firebelly Boa. They also have quite a bit of speckling. Um, just a you know very striking beautiful animal to look at. The tail carries that reddish color and the tail saddles are kind of a dark reddish brown with um, almost a maroonish tint to it. So these animals Besides the unique color, they do change color quite a bit, getting darker and lighter, which is um, not unlike other island boas, like the hog island boa. But the color will change from dark to light depending on the, the temperature, or their mood, um, and you know other factors. Right now, she's kind of in a more dark phase. The corn island boas originated in the corn islands. So this is uh, t these are two small islands in the Caribbean about 50 miles off the coast of Nicaragua. They're, the captive population is based off of a relatively small number of animals that were exported back in the 90s, something like 20 animals. And since um, that happened, the islands were made into a national park and now it's completely prohibited any export of animals. So it appears pretty unlikely that there'll be any more wild caught animals to supplement the U.S. captive population. Fortunately, there are a number of dedicated breeders that are working with this species or this um, form of boa, and hopefully they will ensure that it continues to be available to hobbyists uh, for the foreseeable future. So now I wanna show you my adult male. So this guy is the same age. He's about six years old, six and a half years old, um, as the female I just showed you. He's a little bit bigger, maybe you know six inches larger, but he's not too much over four feet in length. Um, the other difference with the Corn Island boas is they tend to be a lot more active than other types of locality boas. You know, some boas will take out and they'll just kind of chill out and. You know, hold still in your hand. Whereas these guys tend to move around quite a bit more. They tend to be very curious and they're always exploring. Um, I wouldn't say they're aggressive. This guy has struck at me a few times, but generally he's not, doesn't try to bite me. But on the other hand, he doesn't really want to hold still very much. And if I put him down on the ground, he would, you know, be out of here like a black racer. They're just a very active form of boa. Um, when I'm handling them, they remind me more of colubrids, like holding a king snake, than holding a boa constrictor. And that's also due to the fact that they have this more slender body. Their body build is more like a uh, king snake than it is like most other boas. They are pretty muscular, though. 
um, and they will hold on pretty tightly. Not quite as tight as a true red tail, um, but they, you know, they definitely show off their muscle. Breeding Corn Island Boas is fairly straightforward. Um, I had my first litter last year. And you know, the one thing that distinguishes these animals is, of course, as I mentioned, the small size of the breeding females. My female was not quite four feet uh, when she gave birth to a litter of five babies. The, of those five babies, um, four of them ate for me with no problem on live fuzzies. One of them didn't eat at first. I had to assist feed it mouse tails for a few months. And then fortunately, it finally started eating um, uh, live fuzzy mice. So the, because they're s s small animals, the sizes of the litter, as well as the size of the babies, tends to be on the small side. I think my babies were around 14 inches or so when they were born. And then of course they grow pretty slowly being an island boa, so it's important that you don't overfeed them. Um, I'd recommend for the babies up to two years, maybe once every two weeks, uh, appropriately sized rodent. Then you can go back to about once every three weeks until they reach adulthood and then probably feed them about once a month or so. So overall, the Corn Island boa is a very unique boa for someone that's looking for something different to add to their locality collection. Um, there's even an anerythristic form of this boa, which lacks the red pigment, and it's kind of more of a grayish, silvery gray color that's being produced by Tommy Carpenter. Uh, there's not too many breeders working with them, so you might have to search for a while before you find one. But um, they are available, so if you want you know, a cool boa like this for your collection, keep your eyes out and one will come on the market uh, sooner or later. I'm not going to have any this year. Hopefully I'll breed them again in 2021 and have a litter um, in, in the summer of 2021. So that's the Corn Island Boa. I hope this was somewhat helpful and informative for you. As always, ask any questions or make any comments below or just reach out to me on social media. Thanks for your attention and enjoy your boas.